The KCNA, the Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associate Exam, is the gateway certification to the world of Kubernetes and Cloud Native. Originally, the Linux Foundation slash CNCF created and provided both the CKA, Certified Kubernetes Administrator, and the CKAD, the Certified Kubernetes Application Developer Qualifications. These are also great exams and curriculums. To provide a friendlier learning path, the KCNA was introduced as a precursor to the CKA and the CKAD. As someone who completed the qualifications in the order of CKA, CKAD, and then KCNA, personally, the KCNA has been my absolute favorite in terms of learning. It covers Kubernetes and other areas which align well to professional careers. When the KCNA is targeted properly, not only can you achieve this qualification, but you'll also gain a great foundation of study for moving on to both the CKA and the CKAD. This curriculum also provides a foundation in other areas that are actively being developed into their own qualifications. The KCNA covers security as part of its curriculum, and there's a focused Kubernetes security exam, the CKS. There's now also a dedicated Prometheus qualification, and in the KCNA curriculum, this topic is covered in part within telemetry and observability. There are also other efforts underway for new qualifications that, again, are also covered partly in the KCNA. You can see how diverse this curriculum is and why I like this qualification so much. To see the specifics about this exam, take a look at the official curriculum referenced on GitHub. This is also the best place to check for any exam or curriculum changes prior to book in an exam. The exam itself is multiple choice. You can book this either at an in-person test center or you can actually do this remotely. When doing this remotely, you'll have a remote proctor who will monitor your screen and your camera whilst you're actually taking the exam. Don't let that put you off though. Generally, I found the team behind the Linux Foundation slash CNCF exams to be very friendly and helpful. In terms of costs, this will of course vary depending on your region and when you actually take the exam. There's often opportunities for you to reduce the overall cost. So occasionally the Linux Foundation, they have sales throughout the year and you can take advantage of these. So do follow the Linux Foundation slash CNCF on social media to catch those sales. Sometimes as well you can get an exam discount code if you attend KubeCon slash CloudNativeCon. So a great trick you can pick up a virtual KubeCon slash CloudNativeCon ticket for Europe, America, China. It doesn't matter even if it's out of region. With this if you can actually get the early bird discount you can typically pick this up reasonably cheap. So in the past I've paid 10 or 20 dollars for a virtual ticket and specifically I've done this to get a discount on the exam. Not only do you then get to attend a great event you can sometimes get significant exam discounts. So 45 or 50% of the cost. Lastly, if you're part of any of the diversity groups, it's also worth seeing if the Linux Foundation or the CNCF is able to actually help you out. They're very active in their support of diversity groups and there may be an actual opportunity in which they can support you in some way with this exam. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.